Can you believe that Pat McAfee, a punter who made his mark in the NFL, both with his leg and his personality, has transformed into one of the most dynamic figures in sports media and entertainment? Born Patrick Justin McAfee on May 2, 1987, in Plum, Pennsylvania, McAfee's journey from high school athlete with a knack for kicking to a multifaceted multimedia star is nothing short of remarkable. McAfee's athletic prowess was evident early on. At Plum High School, he excelled in soccer, volleyball, and football, and his skills in punting were particularly notable. By the time he was a sophomore, he had won the National Punt, Pass, and Kick competition, showcasing his potential. His big break came when he used winnings from an illegal poker game to fund a trip to Miami for a field goal competition. Although he missed a 70-yard attempt, his performance earned him a scholarship offer from West Virginia University, where he became a standout place kicker. At West Virginia, McAfee's college career was marked by impressive feats and memorable moments. As a freshman, he made significant contributions, including a crucial onside kick that set up a game-tying touchdown against Louisville. By his senior year, McAfee was a force to be reckoned with. He set a school record for all-time scoring and earned accolades such as being named a finalist for the Ray Guy Award and the Lou Groza Award. His versatility was on full display as he led the Big East in punting average and became known for his long, impactful kicks. In 2009, McAfee's talents were recognized when the Indianapolis Colts selected him in the seventh round of the NFL Draft. His rookie season was a whirlwind. He not only handled punting and kickoff duties, but also played a role in the Colts' Super Bowl appearance. Although they fell to the New Orleans Saints, McAfee quickly made a name for himself, earning a spot on the NFL All-Rookie Team and achieving Pro Bowl status in both 2014 and 2016. McAfee's career was distinguished by his powerful leg and his unconventional style. He was known for his high-energy personality, which made him a fan favorite. He frequently executed successful onside kicks and maintained a consistently high punting average, leading the league in multiple categories at various points. His career ended in 2017 after a series of knee surgeries and a strained relationship with Colts management. During his time with the Colts, McAfee also showcased his skills in other areas, including doing several fake punt passes and fake punt runs. McAfee famously had some great runs and great throws in the punter position, and nobody ever knew what was happening when Pat McAfee took the field. After retiring, McAfee made a seamless transition in the sports media. He initially joined Barstool Sports, where he hosted the Pat McAfee Show, and became a prominent voice in sports commentary. His charisma and engaging style quickly garnered the significant following that he has now. He became a staple for sports fans. This was because he was not only a charismatic player on the field, but he also had great relationships with many NFL players and other sports personalities and figures. This meant he had a lot of connections within the industry that he could utilize at any time, which brought more significant media attention. However, McAfee would leave Barstool in August 2018 due to disagreements over the company's operations and began operating independently through the Pat McAfee Inc. Even though he left Barstool, McAfee still has had a positive relationship with Dave Portnoy and the Barstool team and has spoken to them often and has nothing negative to say about them to this day. In 2019, McAfee joined ESPN as an analyst for college football a move that expanded his influence in the sports world. His work on College Game Day revitalized the show, bringing in the passion and energy that the show had been missing for several years. McAfee's role at ESPN grew even further, and he became a central figure on the network, contributing to various broadcasts and making regular appearances on programs like Get Up. 
McAfee's deal with ESPN was around $85 million starting in 2021 for his fully integrated Pat McAfee show within the ESPN platform. It also meant he would join College Game Day full-time. He would also strike a deal with FanDuel during this time as well for around $120 million over four years. In addition to his work with ESPN, McAfee has ventured into professional wrestling. His involvement with WWE began with guest commentary at NXT TakeOver events, where his brash and colorful persona caught the attention of fans. He officially signed with WWE in February 2019 and quickly made an impact with his on-screen performances. His wrestling career saw him engage in notable feuds, including a high-profile match against Adam Cole at NXT TakeOver, where he showcased his athleticism and charisma in the ring. McAfee continued to make appearances in WWE, including in 2024, where he participated in the Royal Rumble and was a commentator at WrestleMania. What makes Pat McAfee's story even more compelling is his role in transforming sports media. He has pushed the boundaries of traditional sports commentary with his unique blend of humor, candidness, and his unconventional choice of language during his show. His Pat McAfee show is known for its unfiltered takes on sports and culture, drawing in a diverse audience that appreciates his fresh approach. McAfee has harnessed the power of digital platforms, utilizing social media and streaming services to reach fans directly, bypassing the traditional gatekeepers in media. This innovative approach has not only broadened his reach, but also set a new standard for how sports commentary can be delivered. McAfee's impact on sports media extends to his ability to blend entertainment with analysis. His segments often include playful banner, celebrity interviews, and behind-the-scenes insights that keep audiences engaged. By blending traditional sports analysis with his entertainment elements, McAfee has created a format that resonates with younger and more diverse audiences, changing the way we view sports content today. Beyond his professional achievements, McAfee's story is a testament to his versatility and relentlessness. From his high school days to his NFL career, and now leading the world in sports media, McAfee has shown a remarkable ability to adapt and excel in different arenas. His journey reflects a blend of athletic skill, media savvy, and a larger-than-life personality that has captivated fans across various platforms. McAfee's personal life has also seen its share of headlines. In 2010, he was arrested for public intoxication, an incident that led to a one-game suspension from the Colts. Despite this, McAfee's career continued to flourish and he used his experiences to further connect with fans. McAfee has also made headlines for his colorful language and his hot takes on his show, specifically since it's become under the ownership of ESPN. They have had a lot of backlash due to some of the things McAfee has said during his show and has even caused infighting between higher leadership within the Walt Disney Company and ESPN. Despite all this, McAfee has become a legend within the sports world. Let us know in the comments below if you're a Pat McAfee fan. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, we appreciate all of you. Thank you.